Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing you a program called Lucky Backup. This is the website, luckybackup.sourceforge.net. I bet you never guess what it does. Backs up data. Uh, kind of a giveaway with the name, wasn't it? Anyway, I like the quote on the website here. Computer users can be divided into two categories. Those that have lost data, and those that have not lost data, yet. I really wish you never had come to that situation. But if you do, I hope that you have backed up your data at the very last minute, either using this application or not. Eee, smiley face. The features. Create a clone of your data to another location in no time. Create snapshots, synchronize, keep your data safe, and lots of other options. And there's quite a bit more information on the website, but let's just go straight across and have a look at the program. I've created a couple of backup schedules here. So let's back up my home folder to the external hard drive and backing up my music to an SD card, which I use in my car stereo. Let's have a look at the options on these. It's quite simple, you choose the source folder and you choose destination folder. Got some advanced options here. So in this case I want to exclude a couple of folders. So again, source folder, destination. Got some advanced options again, so this one I'm excluding all hidden folders and the virtual box, virtual machines drive. Let's go through and create a new task, just show you, so demo. A few types of backups you can do. So that backs up the contents of the source directory, back up the entire source directory by name, but by it keeps the original folder name. The first one just takes all the subfolders and files that are in there. And we've got synchronized source and destination. So that's like two-way synchronization. The first two are like one-way synchronization, say from this computer to external device or another computer over a network, which can do if you know how to mount the drives over a network, which I haven't quite sussed yet. Or I have trouble with really. Um, all right, so let's just say Documents folder. I'll choose a destination. Uh, let's create a folder. And demo. And so I've got the advanced options here. So I exclude temporary folders, backup files, cache folders, trash, etc., etc. User defined options, which we've got. Specific files, set of files, specific directory, set of directories, directory contents. So I could choose that I don't want to back up the books directory. Add that, and it will miss that file off the list. Got only include specific files. Uh, was this remote? Not sure about that one. Uh, command options. There's even more options there, and also execute. Okay, let's just run one of these, the music to SD card. So I take it on a dry run first, to click run button, and it shows me what I'm going to, what it's going to do. Because I've already got loads of files on there, it sort of saves me having to copy and paste and try merging the folders. It's a bit long winded really, I just want it done automatically, and there you get on with it. So it's worked out, I've added a couple of folders there and we'll be deleting one file there. That's pretty good. Let's say done, untick dry, run it for real. And that's it. Backed up, backed up the music to the memory card and now I've got some nice new songs to play in the car. And that's quite easy to do. So I hope you found that useful. And thanks for watching. See you later.